Sports Tonight is back again. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. It's good to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonatan on the show tonight. More troubles for the administration of athletics in Nigeria. As some part of the board, some board members at the meeting in Abuja and they say, Brian Gusso, you're no more our president. Step aside. When Channels Television spoke to the president of the FM, he said, look, I'm still the president. I don't know what they're talking about because that gathering is illegal. illegal. Now, one part of the FM, they are in Oka in Anambra State getting ready for the Congress tomorrow. Another group at their meeting today in Abuja. What's going on with athletics in Nigeria? Loads of questions to be answered. We're trying to understand what this new fight for the soul of athletics is all about. By the way, our board member, Solomon Ogba, uh, came out yesterday to say, I'm no more interested in this thing. I don't like what's going on. There's too much government interference. The Ministry of Youth and Sports today came out with a letter uh, instructing that, look, Sunday Adelaide should be removed as a technical advisor. We'll, we'll try to um, give a clearer perspective of all of these issues going on with athletics in Nigeria as we, as we take a look at what's going on with the administration of the sport in the country. Also on the show tonight, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Songwolu has renamed the newly constructed, uh, before it was Unicorn Stadium, now it will be known as the Mobolaji Ulufunshot Johnson Arena. Uh, talking about the Unicorn Stadium, when you see that stadium, you will understand the need for infrastructure development in Nigeria. We'll talk about it. The Imo State uh, government, they're doing more for sports. After concluding the Imo State summit, they said, look, uh, the theme of the summit was rebuilding Imo through sports. They're getting ready now for the Imo State Sports Festival. You listen to the governor speak today and you understand the power of sports, what we can use sports to do in terms of uh, nation building. We'll take a look at that one on the show tonight. We'll continue our countdown to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. How many more days to go and we're hearing of crisis in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria? We'll also take a look at the Nigeria Professional Football League, FC Fine Uba and Jigawa Golden Stars. And they finally played that match that couldn't go down on Sunday. It was victory for Ajigawa Golden Stars. We'll take a look at the table also and some other issues coming out of football management in Nigeria. We'll talk about it. Is Lionel Messi the greatest footballer ever? That's the story everyone is talking about. I'm full of asking questions because um, he won a record sixth Ballon d'Or title. Catch Lionel Messi if you can. And what a story. Cristiano Ronaldo, we know the sort of rivalry has brought to football with, Chris, with Lionel Messi. I was like, who is the GOAT? Who is the GOAT? Is it Lionel Messi after winning his sixth Ballon d'Or title? Let's talk about that one on the show today uh, when we get to that segment. Uh, it's fight week for Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. Anthony Joshua says, look, it's win or win for me. I feel I'm ready. I like the mood. I just want to go and get back my titles. Ruiz says, look, I have what it takes to stun this guy one more time. Heavyweight boxing will get our attention also tonight on the program. That's the, that's the outlook of the show. Also play at some badminton tonight. Welcome on board. It's for sports tonight on channels, television, wherever you are in the world. Welcome on board because uh, this is the fun factory. So much is going down. We will take care of the on-field issues. By the way, the English Premier League should also get our attention. What a story. Leicester City fans, they're showing so much love to Nigeria. Skelechi Iyenacho after he scored the winner in that match against Everton. Arsenal, what's going on? More questions. As a look, it's Unai. Unai is out of the way now. Fred Lundberg led the team, but they couldn't get the victory over Norwich City. So Arsenal fans, let's also talk on the show tonight. What's the way out for the Gunners? Because it's not looking good at the moment. Why would we take a look at Arsenal? Manchester United fans, they also acknowledge that they have a problem. The English Premier League will get our attention also on the show tonight. Welcome on board. Be part of the program. You can talk to us. Yes, you can. On Twitter, our channels underscore sports, Facebook, channels, I think sports, or so send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. You know what? Let's take a look at athletics development in Nigeria. All of this 
management crisis. The Athletics Federation of Nigeria, right from when they did the elections, we were already sensing the vision for what is really going on. What is the problem? Fresh allegations about missing $150,000 came out again. More questions to be answered. As Solomon Ogba says, look, I have to resign. I don't like the interference that I'm seeing with athletics in Nigeria. As some other part of the AFN says, uh, it's not resignation we want. We want probe. We want investigation. We want you to answer questions as regards some missing money. He's talking about financial uh, misappropriation. That will get our attention. Because if we don't get it right there, we don't get it right with administration, we don't get it right with leadership, sports in Nigeria will continue to struggle. So be part of nation building. Uh, can, we, can we find ways to solve those problems of athletics in Nigeria? Let's talk about it on Twitter, channel Sunday Sports Sports, Facebook, channels I think sports. Yes, you can send us an email, sports tonight, at channelstv.com. All our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channelstv.com and on YouTube for us, channels web if you log on to m.channelstv.com you should be able to download the channels tv app for any of those devices that you see right there on your screen let's get on with this show now let's begin right here in lagos state where the governor ababajide sonwolu today he renamed the newly constructed onikom stadium after the late brigadier general mobolaji johnson uh, during a day of honor uh, that was organized uh, to celebrate the exit of the first military governor of the state. Look at that. That's a picture of the newly constructed Tes um, Onikon Stadium. You see, I'm already even calling it Teslin. Onikon Stadium. If you know Onikon Stadium before, I'm sure you'll be saying, no, 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 no. This is not true. This is what it looks like now, if you see the inside. So this is what we're talking about. We should be in this league when talking about infrastructure development. So they've renamed it now. Uh, the stadium will now be known as Mobolaji Olufunsho Johnson Arena. Uh, while playing glowing tribute to, uh, to him, uh, Mr. Sonwolu says, uh, the general selfless, selflessness in service and excellent achievement at being a source of inspiration to successive administrations in Lagos State. The governor and his deputy, Obafemi, Dr. Obafemi Hamzat, are led members of the state's executive council and high-profile dignitaries, including the former governor of Lagos State, uh, Swaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, to the event uh, that was held to honor the life and times of the late Mobola G. Johnson. So goodbye to Nikon Stadium. Welcome. Mobolaji Olufunsho Johnson Arena. So just in case you're taking a bus, don't say Onikon Stadium. They will wonder where are you going to? You would like it now, Mobolaji Johnson Arena. We'll see. Um, and a reminder again that when the stadium uh, gets functional, maintenance, we should remember that maintenance is important. It's not about just, just building or renovating the stadium to look good. We must maintain it. Otherwise, five years' time, we will start asking questions. Is it not that same place that I was celebrating one time? So maintenance, very, very important. Let's go to Imo. Now, they are also doing so much for infrastructure development. Where last week, after the Imo State Sports Summit, they, they, they took a tour around. They, 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 everybody, come, let's see. Let's show you the Dan Anian Stadium. Let's show you the Grasshopper Stadium. We know that we need to do work here. And... They've been doing much to improve sports, and so it was all fun and excitement, as you can see, as the governor, Emeka Iedioa, uh, leads the Unity Torch. Why? They're getting ready for the 13th edition of the Imo State Sports Festival. While performing the ceremony at the government house, the governor expressed delight over the, over the transformation sports is taking in the state. They said they want to rebuild Imo State through sports. The torch is scheduled to uh, go around the 27 local government areas in the state in the order of the five sports zones before the Emo State Sports Festival begins on December the 12th, 2019. So you see, Emo State has come alive and sports is leading the campaign for them. I love it. Yeah, you can sing and dance. That's what, it's a beautiful world of sports. Let's go to the Emo State capital and get some talking points from this activity. It will also open the ways for more laurels by our youngsters. It will also make our 
local government areas, communities to be hunting grounds for talent that will be exported to different parts of the world to earn and enhance revenue generation. We believe that this will give hope to the Imolites who, for one reason or the other, in the past defected to other states, to come back that Imo is indeed. In the words of the Minister of Youth and Sports, that Imo is indeed the state, the home of uh, sports. So the governor of Imo stay right there, just uh, reminding us of some of the benefits of sports. It says <clears throat> that it will open the ways for more lawyers. So it will motivate young talents to say, mm, the state is showing and giving attention to sports development now. So I must do all I can to win. Yes, but somebody must empower them. And that's what they are trying to do. It says the local government areas will become hunting grounds. You know, we always say it on this show that let's not leave everything to the federal government. No, don't leave everything to them. Don't leave everything to the state government. The local government, the local sports councils, we have a lot of talent there that we can discover and then they can grow. So the, the, the local sports councils can now recommend to the states and then the states are ah, this guy. We've discovered him from the one local government and now he's doing so well. Uh, federation at the federal level. Can we see how we can work work with this guy. You see, everybody has got a role to play. And that's what he was saying, that the local government will become hunting grounds. So we don't even need to the federal government. It will right here at Channel Sports. We are doing the Channel's International Kids Cup. You know the story of our discovering and nurturing talents from the primary schools at the grassroots, the basic foundation. We continue with the Channel's Track and Field Classics. And so everybody's talking about it now. And then say, oh, that's a, that's a laudable initiative. That's our own way of contributing to sports development in Nigeria. So if Imo does it, Aochi State does it, Kaduna comes into it, Akwai Bomb, Cross River, for it becomes a nationwide project and it will be for the good of the development of sports in Nigeria. I love that story so much. Well done to Imo State. Let's take the conversation out of Nigeria. Now, let me tell you uh, what's going on with Dockers at the Shokan. We just ended the National Badminton Championships in Katsina over the weekend, and persons were asking questions. Ah, Dockers is not around because if she was there, it's definitely going to be her title. She has won it back to back to back. So Dockers was missing in Katsina. Why? She was in faraway Zambia, dominating at the Zambia International Badminton Championship. By the way, she's the best female table and um, badminton player in Africa, and we keep saying it that more exposure is what they need to conquer the world. She's looking for a ticket to the Olympics, and events as this will get Dockers at the Shokan ready. So Dockers at the Shokan, Nigeria, and Africa's leading female badminton women singles player. She, she went to Zambia, she saw the people, she played badminton, and she dominated the event right there in Zambia at the finals of at the closing ceremony that took place over the weekend. Seated number one. They know, yes, the Nigerian is coming. She was seated number one uh, for the tournament. She started a campaign with a clear two-set uh, whitewash of Uganda's Fatima Nabirunji. She said, look, I'm not here to play. I left Lagos, Nigeria. I left Katsina's championship to prove a point. So she swept that opponent aside. And in what may seem like the accession of the Nigerian female players over one time dominant champion, that's the person that is always a problem for Nigerian female badminton player. Her name is Hadia Hosni of Egypt. Dokkas Adeshokan went on to push her aside in the semifinals. And in the final game, as she started um, on the edge, but she went on uh, to win. Um, that final match to become the champion and of course still the reigning African women's singles badminton champion. Dockers at the show can take a bow wherever you are. Uh, that's a good one coming as regards badminton in Nigeria. So I uh, would believe that Dockers at the show and Anu uh, Okpeyori can pick a ticket to the Olympics. Let's see Nigeria. Um, performing some other sports because we keep saying we have the talents. The Ministry of Youth and Sports, they have hinted that it's eight or nine sports. Football is already out of the way. So let's see if badminton can get one of those slots and go on to represent the country in Tokyo. I'm talking about the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, let me let you know. It's now 233 more days to go. Two, three, three. How ready 
is Nigeria for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Big question because when we started this countdown, we wanted everybody to know that even if it's 300 days to go, it's already here. Two, three, three days to go. And we're having crisis in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. That's the confirmation there. It's just 233 more days to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Yeah. And then the next picture you're going to see will confirm the crisis going on in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria in an Olympic year that we're counting towards. We are already asking questions. How are we ready for the Olympics? Now that there's no football, we should be saying Nigeria can do well in track and field and athletics and give us at least two or three medals. Yes, we have the talent. We have Lesson Akagbari, we have Divine Ududu, we have Sheyi Ogunlewe, oh, lovely, Ese Brume, Toby Loba Muson. we've got uh, Chukwe Buka in short put. But we keep missing out narrowly. Our athletes go to competition, they come so close to winning medals. That 10% that they need to win medals might be coming from administration. Yes, because everything, everything rises and falls on administration. Today, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, had, they wrote a letter um, that came from the Director of Legal Services. He signed the letter on behalf of the Honorable Minister, Mr. Sunday Dari, uh, the Director of Legal Services, uh, D.A. Mohammed. Uh, the, 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 the letter states, removal of Sunday at Dileye as athletes' representatives on the board of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. That's a confirmation of the letter uh, that was circulated uh, today to the media. It says, I'm directed to refer you to the above named subject matter and to inform you of the former uh, minister's approval of 24th April 2019, 24th May 2019, removing Sunday Adele from the office as athletes' representatives uh, detailed in a letter with the reference number that you can see right there. It went on and on and on and on and on. I said, okay, so with this letter, you hereby directed to convey to the board of the AFM this position and to ensure that the said Adele returns all AFM properties in its custody to your office as Minister of Youth and Sports. AFM leadership crisis. It started yesterday. Solomon Ogba, you saw him right there uh, in that picture. Three key persons. Solomon Ogba, former president of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, came into the board through the philanthrop philanthropist role. And we need his experience because, yes, he's been there, done that with athletics in Nigeria. The current president, Ibrahim Sheoguso, and the vice president, Olamide George. So those are the three persons. So don't want to bring in Sonia Adele, technical director, and some person says, no, 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 no. It cannot be. We will go on this break. When we come back from the break, we'll stay with this AFN leadership crisis. What is really the problem? What's going on as regards the administration of athletics in Nigeria? But before we go on that break, um, I just wanted to give you a background, and that's why that picture showed you Solomon Ogba, who announced his resignation from the board yesterday. Today, that's it right there. Solomon Ogba, Ibrahim Gusau, and... Olamide George. Solomon Ogba, former AFN president and was in the board, came in through the philanthropist role, says there is government interference. There's interference everywhere. I'm not interested again. I'm going to leave. Gusso is the embattled president and the vice president Olamide George. Today they had a meeting in Abuja. They said, President, step aside. You have a lot of questions to answer, so you are no longer the president for now. Let's go on this break. When we come back, I'll tell you what went down in Abuja. I'll try to connect with Sunday Adele or the president there in Oka, getting ready for tomorrow's Congress. Drama in the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. Don't go anywhere. Stay.